Hey, it's Sarah, and I want to give you a really good solid Zoom tutorial in case you need to start doing speech therapy from home. And this is my little friend. Who, who is this? Is this Rocket or who is this? Hello, this is Lammy. Lammy, Lammy. So Lammy is going to be in our video. So there's two different views and I'm not sure what you're going to see here. And there'll be times where I'm going to take a screenshot because I know from previous experience that the way that I see it is not going to be necessarily reflected in the video. So I'm going to try to take a screenshot right now. Um, this is the speaker view. And then if I can do gallery view, and I don't know if you can see gallery view because sometimes it's, um, it's a little bit different. <laughs> um, that's gallery view, and so that's what I see, and this is speaker view. Lammy. Yes? What do you want to work on today? Do you know some of your speech therapy goals? Do you remember them? No, I, I oh. don't remember. Oh, darn, Lammy. Well, we're going to start with three lessons today. So today we're going to cover three lessons that you can do on video. Let me first use a website called Newzella. Now, um, Newzella is a website where you can get uh, have you ever done this, Lammy? Lammy, uh, have you ever seen, seen Newzella? Well, I've been on Newzella and they have a bunch of good news articles. Yes, they do. And what I like about them is that if you go to the top, you can also find it in Spanish. Um, Whoa. Yeah, Lammy. I know, Lammy, you don't speak Spanish, sadly, but um, let's find any kind of article that we can talk about. How do you feel about that, Lammy? Uh, just fine. <laughs> So some of these articles, I will say, they're really based in current events, they're, and they are political. So be, be aware of um, that. Okay. Um, are you ready to, to get into it? Oh, yeah. Lammy, do you have a specific, maybe favorite um, article looking at some of these here that maybe looks the most interesting to you? Um, is that one on snakes? Yeah, the one on snakes. Oh, yeah. I love snakes. I love snakes. Um, and so I'm signed in under my under a teacher account. So it gives you op the opportunity to create assignments, et cetera. And I never use those features because I'm typically working one on one or in small groups. So um, let's you can see the level is t level seven. That's too high for Lammy. Lammy, uh, oh. what grade are you in? Oh, oh, I'm in first grade. Yeah, so you, we're going to have to bring that all the way down. So you can look at, le like, I think uh, this is Lexile level. I just know that I go by grade okay. level. So I cool. can bring this down to third grade reading level. Um, and I think that that's, maybe you're uh, operating above your level, your grade level, Lammy. Ah, uh, I, don't, I don't really know. <laughs> Thank you, Lammy. Um, so you, ha you usually have just one picture, and then there's a bunch of text to read. Um, mm -hmm. It's based, as you can see, this was in the Washington Post, so um, legit sources, and it's so amazing to be able to just customize it for your students' needs. Um, when you, when you, let's say I've decided this paragraph's super important for Lamy, I can highlight it, and then I can remove it. Or if I'm working on Arctic, uh, Lamy, you're going to work on saying um, the word February. I can highlight any words that say have F if we're working on F, so I'll do February. So Lammy, let's pretend you have trouble with F. Um, here we have, I'm just able to quickly go through and see um, three words that have F in them. Can you say them for me, Lammy? Um, February. Uh-huh. I, I can't see them, I'm sorry. Okay, well. I'm sorry, ma'am. You do have the ability to zoom in. Oh, oh well, so there's February, uh -huh. there's, there's first, uh, and there's, puff. I'm sorry, I can't, I can't. You can't say puff, that one maybe is a little too hard. I'll, I'll take note of that. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so you can read um, any article and I really like it. Thank you, Lammy, I appreciate that. We're gonna keep going, Lammy, so are you ready? Yeah. Yeah, okay, Lammy. Let's pretend that I need something super high interest. 
for Lammy and that Lammy isn't reading at the grade three reading level. So Lammy, um, we are going to watch a video. Oh, um, yeah, I love YouTube. So, wow, Lammy is on top of things. Um, Lammy, I've got a video for us that I found on YouTube. There's a channel, it's called Bun Bun. Um, it has very few videos, but they're very good. So um, here's a video, it's uh, just, you can go through naming fruit um, and I can make it full size screen. Um, and here, I, it does have music. So uh, a lot of times I'll just mute a video cause I don't need to necessarily, um, you know, have music. I'm doing the talking and I don't need anybody to, or any, anything to interfere with that. So uh, Lammy, can you tell me uh, what this is? I think, I think that's an apple. Aha, very good. Um, it is an apple. And they all, every, so with every single fruit, they cut it, they say it twice, and they show you the inside. Hey, wait, and you can even test uh, memory. Hey, Lammy, did you see what was inside the apple before it rolled away? I think I saw seeds. Yes, the apple has seeds. So this is going to go through a bunch of fruits. I love this channel. I, like I said, it's Bun Bun, but they just don't have enough videos. But they have fruits. They have farm animals. They have, um, they have transportation. Um, they have animal. They have uh, like jungle animals. So those are the ones uh. that pop out. They have a video all about colors. So if they had like a more robust, like if they kept going, but they pretty much produce one video a year, which makes it hard. Oh. So I, I mean, I've even, I've used this video because of students that really need something that's moving um, and, and like graphics. I've also talked about where are we? Um, you know, it, where are we, Lammy? What room is this? Uh, I think it's a kitchen. Okay, all right. So now we've, completed um, using YouTube and um, mm -hmm. oh yes I before I'm gonna switch on over here is um, washing your hands I created this this uh, lesson for you Lammy because you've been sorely lacking in the hand washing department oh I didn't realize <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding um, you can display any PDF this is a PDF that I created I'm going to leave a link down below so you can get this PDF for free. It is just to go over washing hands, which is a simple, fun lesson. Um, so, Lammy, can you read the question and, and, and answer it for me? Uh, so, which one do you use to wash your hands? Uh -huh. I, I personally prefer pump soap because it's soft. Let's pretend. Okay, let's do another one. What do you think, Lammy? Is soap better than hand sanitizer? Is hand sanitizer? Uh, soap is better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Soap is better. Aha! Very good. Now, Lammy, I'm gonna give you control. I'm gonna have you circle the right one, but because you're on my phone versus a laptop, computer, or a desktop, the app doesn't give you the ability to. I'm just gonna show you quickly what the control panel looks like. You can see you can I use always choose like the thicker line versus the thin so you can see. So you said soap was better than hand sanitizer. And you know what, Lammy? You're right. All the studies Yay! are showing. Yay! Yeah, I love it. Good job. Um, soap is better. And then so Lammy could have circled it if if Lammy was on a desktop, but that's okay. Um, and then we can go to my next slide. Let's talk about before and after. So Lammy, can you read that question for me? Oh, should you wash your hands before or after using the bathroom? You should wash your hands, I think, after. Very good. So we're going to circle after. Um, and some of the other features that you can see with um, this, uh, say I didn't want to have the picture. I can make a box and cover it up and I can say, or I could say, should you, can you tell me something you should wash your hands after doing, and then they might think, and then I could take it away by deleting, ah, oh, the bathroom. So there's different shapes. You can do circles. You can do like an arrow. I'll do it like an arrow. This is really important. Don't forget about this. You know, that kind of illustrating a point. Okay, great. Now the bonus, I said three things, but I'm gonna give you a bonus. I'm gonna share my whiteboard 
with you. So you can know that you get a whiteboard here. Sorry, Lammy. Typically, if you were on a computer instead of a phone, you would be able to uh, interact with the whiteboard. But like I could write, let's say that word that Lammy struggled with from that article from the beginning, I can write it um, and have Lammy tell me it. Um, Lammy, can you try again? Cheese, cheese, puff, puff. Wow, Lammy, you've made progress. I'm really proud of you. Yay. So yeah, I mean, you can, and like I said, you can also use shapes. Um, you can use a stamp. Oh man, you got a, you get a, a check mark. You did such a good job. A heart. I love it. Um, I also have the ability instead of having to handwrite, I could also type. It really gives you a lot of options. And I'm just going to take another screenshot so that you can see. Also, I can also erase. I can erase one small thing or I can just clear everybody. I can clear all my drawings. I can clear all their drawings. I can clear all of the drawings. Um, you can also save a picture. So if I did something that I wanted to review another time, I can save it and bring it up at a later time, a different session. So Lammy, thank you Lammy for oh, you're welcome. this session and everybody that's watching, please watching, not watching, goodness. Oh, I'm thinking of washing hands, I think, and I think it's gone to my head. But I really hope that everybody, can you tell everybody to subscribe to my channel, Lammy? Subscribe. Thank you, Lammy. And I will um, talk to you for your next session, okay? Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.